I was cutting grass and I started to question God, like, because I wasn't paralyzed anymore, I wasn't dead, so I must have been left on earth for a reason. So I started to dream that I was an artist. And so in 1998, I took this job as an art teacher in the all boys Catholic school. But it wasn't the Catholic school that we know. I knew that I could teach them that art would change their lives. I knew that I should be there for that reason. Art would change their lives because it changed my life. I started to think about, would these students ever see the artwork that they're learning about and that they're duplicating? And would they ever you know, experience the culture that created that artist, that created that masterpiece? One day I walked into my 11th grade art class and I asked them, did they want to go on a field trip? Of course they said, yeah. And so I said, yeah, let's go find the Mona Lisa. I was trying to get every moment of it because it was something special, something really special. And that's, that's the interpretation I got before we walked in there. Like, you know, I'm going to see a masterpiece. Finding Mona Lisa is like on a grand scale. Travel has a great impact because the impossible is possible. When these are things that pe you hear people talk about, this is, this is something that you see in a book, this is something that you see on television, and now you are there. Not only do we get to like enjoy ourselves, we're out the country and we're these kids from Detroit who understand each other, but we're in a place where our way of life isn't necessarily the norm. If you would have asked anybody else besides you to take them, they wouldn't have took them because those kids were consider, oh, you know, you got some misfits, you taking some kids there that, you know, academically you feel like, oh, they might, they struggling already and behaviorally, they gonna go over there and do something crazy, but, you know, you took them over there and held it down, so it really wasn't a, a major issue with them, I mean, opposed to what people thought was gonna happen. So I think it just really opened up their mindset that there was life, above, you know, beyond the basketball court or the football field. Just didn't even, I don't think they even dreamed of it. Didn't think of the opportunity. They, they didn't even phantom the opportunity of going abroad. And you know, and seeing the actual original artists, some of their work in other places. You know, if there hadn't been an arts program, it could have gone so different for him. I definitely know that it has influenced his direction in life. I know it has. Finding Mona Lisa 313 is in itself an exhibition. The students are the works of art. The gallery spaces are the places that they travel to. It's movable. It's malleable. They interact in a more of a performative way, and it's not static.
When we change the vision of our young people, we change their thought process. Eventually it changes their heart and ultimately it changes their lives and they become the change we need in the world. Finding Mona Lisa, urban students become global scholars. Finding Mona Lisa 313, art changes lives.